Then I heard a loud voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go and pour out the seven bowls of the wrath of God on the earth. So the first went and poured out his bowl into the earth, and it became a harmful and evil sore on the people who had the mark of the beast and who worshipped his image. Then the second angel poured out his bowl into the sea, and it became blood as of a dead man. And every living creature, creature in the sea died. Then the third poured out his bowl into the rivers and springs of water, and they became blood. And I heard the angel of the waters saying, You are righteous, the Holy One, who is and who was. For you have judged these things, because they poured out the blood of the Holy Ones and prophets. And you have given them blood to drink, they deserve it. And I heard the altar saying, Yes, Adonai Elohim Sva'ot, true and righteous are your judgments. Then the fourth poured out his bowl on the sun, and it was given to him to scorch men with fire. And people were scorched with great heat, and people blasphemed the name of God, who has the power over these plagues. And they did not repent and give him glory. Then the fifth poured out his bowl on the throne of the beast, and his kingdom was darkened, and they gnawed their tongues because of the pain, and they blasphemed the God of heaven because of their pains and their sores, and they did not repent of their works. Then the sixth poured out his bowl on the great river the Euphrates, and its water was dried up, that the way might be prepared for the kings that come from the sunrise. And I saw three unclean spirits, something like frogs, coming out of the mouth of the dragon, out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are spirits of demons and performing signs, which go out of the kings of the whole inhabited earth to gather them together. For the war of that great day of Elohi Svaot, behold, I come like a thief. Blessed is he who watches and keeps his clothes so that he does not walk naked, and they see his shame. And he gathered them together into the place which is called in Hebrew, Her Megiddo. Then the seventh poured out his bowl into the air, and a loud voice came out from the temple of heaven, from the throne, saying, It is done. And there were lightnings, sounds, and thunders, and there was a great earthquake, such as has not happened since there were men on the earth, so great an earthquake and so mighty. Then the great city was divided into three parts and the cities of the nations fell and Babylon the great was remembered in the sight of God to give to her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. And every island field fled away and every island fled away and the mountains were not found. And great hailstones about the weight of a talent came down out of heaven upon men and people blaspheme God because of the plague of the hail for the pl for this plague is exceedingly severe then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls came and spoke with me saying come up here and I will show you the judgment of the great prostitute who sits on many waters with whom the kings of the earth committed sexual immorality and those who dwell in the earth were made drunken with her wine of sexual immorality and he carried me away in the rock into the wilderness. And I saw a woman sitting on scarlet-colored beasts, full of blasphemous names, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was dressed in purple and scarlet, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having in her hand a golden cup full of abominations and the impurities of the sexual immorality of the earth. And on her forehead was the name written, A Mystery. Babylon, the great, the mother of the prostitute and of the abominations of the earth. And I saw the woman drunk with the blood of the holy ones and the blood of the martyrs of Yeshua. And when I saw her, I wondered with great amazement. And the angel said to me, Why do you wonder? I will tell you the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carries her, which has seven heads and, and the ten horns. The beast that you saw was and is not, and is about to come up out of the abyss and go into destruction and those who dwell on the earth and whose names have not been written in the book of life from the foundation of the world will marvel when they see that the beast was and is not and shall be present 
here is the mind that has wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sits, and they are seven kings. Five have fallen, the one is, the other has not yet come. And when he comes, he must continue a little while, and the beast that was and is not is himself also an eighth, and is the seven, and he goes to destruction. And the ten horns which you saw are the ten kings who had not yet received a kingdom, but they receive authority as kings with the beast for one hour. These have one mind, and they give their power and authority to the beast. These will war against the lamb, and the lamb will overcome them. And he is the Lord of lords and the King of kings, and those who are with him are called chosen and faithful. And he said to me, The waters which you saw where the prostitute sits are peoples, multitudes, nations, and languages. And the ten horns which you saw and the beast, these will hate the prostitute, will make her desolate, will strip her naked, will eat her flesh, will burn her utterly with fire. For God has put in their hearts to do what he has in mind, to be of one mind, and to give their kingdom to the beast, until the words of God should be accomplished. And the woman who you saw, whom you saw, is the great city which reigns over the kings of the earth. 